Hello and welcome to the North Penn High School Gymnasium. I'm here tonight for a special edition of North Penn Television Sports as we welcome the Harlem Wizards into town to face the North Penn Dream Team made up of teachers and other staff members of the district. I'm Chris Makoviak. Alongside me, Lauren Schwartz getting set for the action. And also on the sideline tonight, we have one of the favorite North Penn teachers of the area, Mr. Heller, along with us. Chris, you, uh, thanks for that great introduction. What a great night this is gonna be. I'm here on the floor. I'm playing the role of like the Aaron Andrews, the good looking person on the sideline. And I'm gonna give you the, uh, the coaching philosophy of North Penn. I'm gonna try and get some secrets and maybe some predictions before we get this thing underway. Uh, just a great night on a Saturday here at North Penn to have a full house. Haven't seen this in, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen this actually since maybe a graduation. Uh, hey, great time up here and uh, let's see what happens. Back to you. We'll be looking for your updates all night, Mr. Heller. It's an exciting atmosphere. Sold out crowd filled the capacity here at the high school gymnasium tonight. Hasn't been this packed since the 1970s, Lauren. It's really packed. I mean, there's bleachers up in the weight room. There's bleachers all around the gym. Everyone's having a great time clapping with the music. It's going to be a really fun night tonight. A very exciting Harlem Wizards famous group created back in the 50s. Really spreading throughout communities, raising money for different causes. Tonight, raising money for the girls' athletics here at the high school. Great job, and Booster Club organized this whole thing along with Mr. Bill Bartle. And big thank you to the presidents of the Booster Club, Wendy and Bill Dwyer, for their help, and Vice President Maria Heller. And clearly the fans that came out are enjoying it. And now we'll throw it back down to Mr. Heller. Thanks, Chris. Uh, I'm, I'm joined right now with uh, Bill Bartle, and it's uh, a little loud in here, and uh, we got to keep an eye on these uh, basketballs that are flying in the air. Hey, who was the genius to schedule this? And I'm dead serious. This is an amazing event. How did this come about? Well, the Booster Club has been working on trying to come up with some fundraisers lately, and we ended up calling a few different school districts and asked them, you know, things in which they have done. And one of the things that we heard constantly was the Harlem Wizards. And so, uh, you know, we decided to give it a shot. And obviously, it's a great community event, obviously going to a good cause. So, you know, it's worked out very well. I notice as you're walking over here, your athletic fit right now. Curious why you're not playing. Well, because I think we have the stars that we need to. And in all truth, the elementary school teachers have uh, offered, to, one in each or two in each building have offered to play, and it's amazing the draw that they have created. It just, it speaks highly about a faculty at the elementary school. I think you could have had a, quite a big draw as well. Hey, uh, we're understanding this is a fundraiser. Where are the funds going for this? The funds are going to go to the Booster Club, which is Port Athletic. Uh, uh, the sports teams here at North Penn High School. Um, we've done a few. We had a trivia night earlier in the year. That was quite a success, and obviously this event this evening. All right, quick, quickly, uh, last, well, last question for you. Uh, any other events coming up, uh, Booster Club events? Um, we're going to make the trivia night an annual event. We're still thinking a little bit about what we might do in the spring. Uh, we might just have a social, but uh, right now, uh, this is the, the last thing we have planned. But we have a great group. Obviously, you look around here, we have parents that have been very active. Uh, the one thing I'd like to say tonight, I'd like to give Keith Seifer and his staff here at North Penn High School a lot of credit. As you know, we had like, you know, two, three, four inches today. Uh, they've done a great job getting this place in order. You got it right. Thanks, Keith and his team. Bill, thanks a lot. You. Back to you guys upstairs. Thank you, Mr. Heller, and great credit to the Booster Club for organizing everything. And it's great to see everyone out here, all the children and fans of all ages, to watch the Harlem Wizards and support the district. It looks like they're introducing the players right now or putting on a little show for everyone while the stands still fell up before the game starts. I'm sure the families of all the of, of, of all the uh, staff playing tonight are excited to see their family members and friends play. It should be, should be a fun game. I'm 
Obviously getting the crowd pumped up for the great game tonight. Stars coming out tonight for North Penn. Mr. Kurt Dietrich, as you, many of you know, superintendent of North Penn School District. Should see him being the MVP of this game, coming out huge, lead his team tonight. Among many others, as Mr. Bartle said, spread throughout the district, lots of teachers coming out to support the cause. The Harlem Wizard picked out someone in the crowd as they will do the whole night involving the fans from the community in their show and the whole game tonight. Giving out some free prizes. Now we'll go back down to Mr. Heller. Thanks, Chris. I'm here with the principal of North Penn High School, Mr. Bert Hines. Mr. Hines, what do you think about this gym being packed right now? I, I am just so impressed. We haven't seen this many folks in this gym in years. Uh, in order to do this, we brought in some additional bleachers and put them up in the balcony the way they used to be. Uh, we have bleachers down at the far end. That's not something you normally see, but uh, we sold out. And it's fantastic to see the enthusiasm, to see all the folks here supporting the school. Uh, I'm just thrilled to see this great crowd here tonight. Mr. Hines, uh, any disappointment that you don't have a jersey on tonight? Not at all. I'm well beyond the years of, of productive play. I don't know. He looked pretty athletic here. Hey, last question. Give me a prediction tonight. Uh, no, I'm not going to make a prediction. I am not going to make a prediction. I'm here to support our green team, uh, and I'm grateful that they're willing to step up to the plate, and I want to see them do their best. 
But they're up, up against some tough competition. Too. They're up some, some serious competition. Hey, thank you very much. Have a great night. Back to you guys upstairs. Thank you, Mr. Heller. Mr. Hines clearly really excited for tonight. Impressed by the turnout as we are. I think he should have been here playing right now. I mean, I think that everyone here would have gotten a good time out of watching Mr. Hines, our, Mr. Hines playing tonight. I mean, I think he should have taken one for the team, maybe. <laughs> he he's, would clearly be the captain of the team. He's, he's in his prime. I don't know where he's talking about being past his years. <laughs> yeah, he definitely is. I mean, Mr. Dietrich luckily is here for the team to lead the team, but I mean, Mr. Hines could have done too. Tonight's DJ. Introduction of, of tonight's dream team. Here they come into the gym. For the dream team tonight, we have number one, Kurt Dietrich, superintendent here for the district. Number two, Bill Bowen, number four, Lauren Budwig, number five, Brad Carroll, number six, Matt Conley, number three, Joe Covone, the third, number 43, Mr. E, number seven, Jeff Fakish, number 16, John Fluck, number 35, Dan Geiger, number eight. Donna Grabner, number 14. Kathy Hopalong Henderson, number 99. Fred Irvin, number 44. Charles Hornigay, really giving the height to the team. Number 21, Dan Moretzky. Number 55, Tom Narzizi. Number 24, Bridget Aunt B. Patterson. Number 33, Zach Big Country Quigley. Number 15, Kyle Richard. Number 22, Jason Theodore. Number 10, Dan Liam. And number 13, coaching for the team is Gina Santoro. We also have two referees tonight. Double zero is Billy D, and zero is Smooth Jam. Donna Grabner. Number 14, Kathy Hopalong Henderson. Kathy Hen Henderson. Number 99, Jeffrey Shea, Fred Irving. Fred Irving. Charles Cornegay coming out onto the court. Number 21, Dan Moretzky coming down here. Number 21, Dan Moretzky. Number 55, Tom Narzizi. Tom Narzizi. Number 24, Bridget Hopkins Patterson. Bridget Patterson. 
Johnson. Lots of cheers for him. Number 13, Coach Gino. Coach Gino you know, coming out onto the court. Jason Theodore. Jason Theodore. Number 10, Dan Hume. Dan Hume entering the court. Children here tonight, but have some of those teachers out here. The the principals too. The referees look excited for the atmosphere here tonight too. Now we'll pause for the national anthem. of the national anthem to get set for the start of the game.
Matrix.
Please, you're not dance until it's your turn. What's my fault that time? Whose fault is it, sir?
introduction from the Harlem Wizards. Here tonight for the Wizards. Number 0, zero, zero is Swoop, number 15, Lunatic, number 3, Blenda, number 30, Sarge, number 34, Downtown, number 7, Skywalker. Looks like out for the Dream Team, includes Kurt Dietrich, number 1. Number 43, Mr. E. Also, number four, Lauren Bugman. Number 15, Kyle Richard. Begun with the Harlem Wizards up two to nothing early. Here comes the Dream Team back down the court. Bowie going over to Rich Hart. Oh. Here comes another basket for the Wizards. Skywalker getting that one. Dagger looking for the no look pass, but gets the ball stolen and the dunk coming. Sarge on the dunk there. Home um, Wizards up 10 to three. Swoop stopping the action. Shot from Swoop, it looks like. Still not able to sink one. Yeah. 
The Wizards looking to take the ball back up. Back around here come the Wizards. Pulling Mr. Dietrich. He's up in the air and another dunk. Wizards up 12 to 5. It was a three. And just short. Big Blender will get the rebound. And the Wizards back down. Blender driving in. Takes out the swoop. Swoop back in. In the air. The Dream Team gets the rebound. They're back down the court. And a great layup. Dan Geiger with that one. Four sixteen in the first quarter. A backwards lip coming from downtown. Some substitutions coming in. Dream Team definitely a little taken by surprise by the Wizards' style in that first quarter. They're standing around a little confused. Hopefully they'll get their game together in the rest of this period. Yeah, from the tip up, you saw their faces and a lot of confusion. Wizards went up quickly, two to nothing, and lead 14 to seven. He's not to take the three. Back up to Irvin. Not able to back it in. And blend it back with possession. Blenda, they can move on Irvin. Going in the swoop. Back and forth. So he's tiring out Irvin in there for the Dream Team. Fooling them once again, here comes the dump, and it's in. Sarge coming up big there after Swoop and Blender. Fooling the defense of North Penn. Going in, not able to handle the pass. Blender inbounds the ball to downtown, up in the air. And another dunk, incredible, the extension there. Back coming, and just off the rim. Inside, and misses the layup, another chance, and gets it in. Mr. Theodore with the missed layup, but made his chance back there with another shot. Now Swoop messing around again with the Dream Team.
Keeps still apologizing. Off the rim. Teaching Irvin steps of being a basketball player. Right back down the court, and a dunk. Just under one minute left in the first quarter. Wizards lead it 20 to 10. Come shot, and six it. Mr. Theater with another basket for the Dream Team. It seems to be clicking so far in the first quarter for the Dream Team. 30 seconds left. The swoop puts on some moves. Shot off in time, putting the Wizards up 22 to 12 at the end of the first quarter. Come on, we did see excellent play from Theodore. He hit that jump shot and. Good job. Red goes around the gymnasium here. Throw it down to Mr. Heller. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm trying to get here our the North Penn coach, Coach Gino, but he's given some instruction to his team. So uh, here he comes. We're live here with the Dream Team, Coach Gino. You're only down 10 after the first period. How you think after the first quarter? How do you think your team looks? Uh, we look pretty good. We look out of shape. The other team is pretty good too. Uh, they're hanging in there. Okay. Uh, what do you uh, look for in the second? You, you have a new five out there. What's the strength of this five? Um, I don't know, same thing. We're gonna try hard and have fun. 
All right, thanks, Coach. Any, uh, what's your strength of the North Penn? Is it offense or defense, do you think? None of the above. <laughs> Coach, you got it from the North Penn Dream Team. Coach Gino, thank you. Back to you guys upstairs. Thanks, Mr. Heller, and great to see you. Excellent leadership and the head coach of the team. Leading them down by 15 at the moment, but looking strong at the end of the first quarter. They're in the second quarter, 7 or 6 left in the first half. Jump shot coming, and sinks it. Nothing but net for Dan Yoon. Blenda moving to his left, gives it off. Three coming, just short. Driving in, gets the basket. Downtown once again, under the basket, scoring another one. And gives it into Fakish, and just short. Jeff Fakish not able to convert that basket. with the crowd. Excited for Lunatic's next shot attempt. Team 
team, trying to get something going, but air ball coming from Irvin, blended with possession. Off the blender, moving the ball around. And now, then more substitutions coming into the game. A great aerial display from Sarge, number 30, jumping in, but not able to convert on that dunk. Three. 3.45 remaining in the first half. Now we'll throw it down to Mr. Heller. Thanks, guys. I'm right now joined with the superintendent, Dr. Dietrich. How'd you look out there in the beginning? Oh, this was just awesome. You know, it's a dream to play on the dream team and then to play against the Harlem Wizards. You can't get any better than that. How about, how was your play tonight? Uh, you know, uh, I, I lived up to my reputation. Uh, you know, work, touch and get rid of that ball as quickly as possible. How do you think, of, uh, what do you think about this gym being filled up here like this on a Saturday night? Oh, it's awesome to see the community response and all the support we're getting, all for a good cause. Any uh, last minute predictions? We still got some time. We're only down you now about 15 here. What do you think? Uh, I kind of have an idea they're going to score 100 on us tonight, but we're going to give it our best uh, effort. Uh, what do you think about your coach? How's he doing for you? He's awesome. Gina knows it all. He's, he's taught us everything we know. Thanks, Doc. Have fun out there. Back to you guys. Thanks, Mr. Heller. Mr. Dietrich coming out strong. And this dunk. So it's trying once again. We'll go back to the Dream Team. Sweep getting the crowd pumped up. Going right down the lane and gets the layup. It's Connolly, number six. Matt Connolly, teacher at Oak Park. So Charles Cornegay has entered play. The dream team, adding some height.
is breaking apart in front of us. the court to perform at halftime. School dance team.
there and help the team at all? I've had I've had three kids go through this high school, so I'm doing all I can to try and give them an upper hand, but it's tough. I'm curious about the two white handprints located somewhere on your body. I'm curious how that happened and what was that about? You know, it, it was something about LeBron James, and I was looking for it in the air, and all of a sudden I got it on the backside. Anything, I'll take a hit for the team, you know? Absolutely. He's doing a great job out, though, both you and your partner out there. Doing a great job out there, guys. Uh, keep on pulling for North Penn. We're down, but I still think they can come through. Maybe these guys can help us out. Back to you. Thank you, Mr. Heller. And Ruffer's doing a great job in this game. As you said, only down by 16. Dream Team can come back. They look better in the, at the end of the first quarter and into the second quarter. And Laura and I are just excited to be in this atmosphere. It's amazing here in the gymnasium. Yeah, I've never, it feels so great to be a part of something like this. I mean, the teachers are definitely a little, have been a little confused at certain points, but I mean, they're definitely holding their own against the Wizards. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to a good second half. I mean, it should be pretty competitive. Hopefully the teachers will make a comeback. I know that the students and all of the people here tonight would really enjoy it if the teachers and staff won against the Wizards. I mean, definitely an impressive team. Yeah, I saw some signs in, behind us in the balcony uh, the supporting the Dream Team, so everybody came out to support them, but home Wizards putting on a great show. Their basketball skills, lots of dunks. Sarge missed a few, but came up big in the end. Now we'll go right back down to Mr. Heller. Hey, thanks guys, I'm down here on the floor, the MC of the show. How's, our, how's the North Penn Dream Team holding up? The, the, amazingly, they're doing all right out here, man. They got a couple people who can shoot, um, the ladies are scoring a couple buckets. They're rebounding pretty decent. They're holding up against the Wizards better than to be expected. So you've gone around uh, nationally, quite honestly. Uh, how does this crowd hold up to some of the other crowds you've been to? This crowd is top 10. Top, no, top two. Best crowd. Like, have, have you been here? Have you watched this? I've been watching the whole it's thing. It's been amped live. This could, you could not have had a better taped game than this one right here. All right, my last question for you is, Give me a prediction at the end. You think the North Penn Dream Team can pull through? Or you think that you, you think your Wizards got it? I'm sorry. Who are you again? I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking. That's okay. I get that. I get that a lot. I think the home team is going to do the best they can, but I think the Wizards are going to pull this out. You heard it. It's going to be a tough night for North Penn, but we're going to see what happens. You're the man. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Take care. Guys. Thanks, Mr. Heller. The home Wizards look to be confident, but Dream Team's right in there. So. Security guard corner gate come up big, but we'll go right back down to Mr. Heller. It's chaos down here. We got all this action, and we're able to grab Sarge off the floor. How a scary, a little, intent, a little intimidating here, Sarge. How's your game tonight? How you feeling? I feel like I'm doing pretty good. You know, I missed uh, probably three dunks, but uh, I'm about to set it up next half. So uh, better get excited. It's about to get really excited. So. How do you think about the North Penn Dream Team? How you, how they're facing it? Good defense on you or a little late, a little lazy here? We got a lot to learn from us. We got a lot more to bring the Dream Team. Yeah, boy. Any predictions of who you think is going to win? You think you got it or you think they're going to come back at the end and pull it out? Oh, of course we got it. Come on now. We don't have wizards. We win all the time. Nobody can beat us. Not a single team. That was Sarge. A little intimidated. I'm going to go with Sarge. Go with Sarge to take it all the way through. I'm sorry, but I'll say that differently when I'm around my North Penn people. Back to you guys. Sarge looking pretty confident. Thank you, Mr. Heller. It looks like we have another player that just arrived for the Dream Team, Mr. Fluck, a popular teacher here at the high school, well known. Also used to teach at Pembroke. I'm sure that he'll come out and make an appearance in the third and fourth quarter. We're also going to go back down to Mr. Heller. We've got another special guest joining us, the president of the Wizards. Todd Davis, thanks for joining us. How does your team look tonight? The guys are looking good. It's a very great turnout, and the guys are putting a lot of energy in. Swoop really does a great job getting the guys energized. High energy show. Now, as the president of the Wizards, what is your role? Uh, just standing back and smiling. Did you ever get a chance to play with these guys? Just, uh, yeah, at training camp and before games we do shootouts, stuff like that. 
So, uh, you know, whatever. It's just fun to be around. Actually, my father started the Wizards when I was a kid. So what I did was the same thing I'm doing now, except I was sitting there bouncing the ball, playing around, having a good time. And now I'm basically doing the same thing, but it's my profession. Awesome. You're on the road again. When are you next on the road? Where's your next production? Well, tomorrow the Wizards are playing. This team is playing in Birdsboro, PA. We have three teams. Another team's in upstate New York, and another team's in uh, Westchester, New York, playing tonight and tomorrow. Uh, did you have a game last night? Last night, yeah. Last night they played in Stamford, Connecticut. So they trucked down here, stayed at a hotel, and got ready. We had a game this afternoon in Jenkinstown, PA. So we do... Each team on the will will do about 150 games during the eight month period. So we do about 450 games for schools, nonprofits all over the country, and we also play all over the world. We played in 25 countries. So when is your off season? Summertime when there's no school? Summertime, we, they take a break in June, but we do a little bit, just a little bit of small shows, and then the summer we do summer camps. So we do camps in the tri-state area, and we're expanding out doing that. We've even done a camp in China, so. Todd, you can look me straight in the eye and give me this answer right now. Looking at me straight up, do I have any chance of trying out and making the Wizards team? Straight up, I can take it. The answer is, how much money do you have? <laughs> Not enough, brother. <laughs> hey, how can someone in the North Penn crowd here, is there any chance, do you ever have tryouts for this team? Yeah, that you have a big guy on your team who looks pretty good. Um, so if, if someone really has a basketball resume, played college basketball, thinks they could be a fit for this, they can just email us. Uh, just go on the Harlem Wizards website and email us. What is the uh, Wizards website? Uh, HarlemWizards.com. That's real easy. Great job tonight. You have a great crowd, great support. Um, I've been asking everybody this. We're at halftime here. Do you feel like uh, your Wizards can take this all the way through? You think the North Penn team's going to come back? Well, looking at the big, you have the height advantage over there. That guy's about six foot nine, six ten. Our biggest guy's about six seven, six eight. But you guys always seem to have the ball. <laughs> well, the, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, happen in the second half. The one thing about it is it's unpredictable. We have lost. It is possible. It's been a while. 1989 was the last loss, but it is possible. Now, how about you? Do you want to spot on your home team roster? You want me to? I would, but I uh, have an old war injury or something like that. I forget what it was. I have the president, Todd Davis. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you very much. Back to you guys up top. Thanks, Mr. Heller, and thank you to uh, President of the Harlem Wizards for coming here to North Penn. The crowd is enthralled in this game, and it's a great atmosphere. Really exciting. Definitely also a big shout out to uh, some of the girls sports teams here at North Penn. I mean, the girls softball team, girls lacrosse team, girls basketball team, all working here, volunteering at the game tonight to help out for this great cause, great fundraiser for the district. And also back down to Mr. Heller. Thanks, Lauren. We have Fred Irvin. How was that experience out there for you? It was awesome. Those guys are just talented, funny, and they put on a good show, man. It's awesome. What were the odds that you actually made once you put that soul into your shot? What were the odds that you actually made that? I will have to tell you, I'm a North Penn grad. That was the only points I've ever made in this gym, ever. Only basket ever. I didn't even shoot in warm-ups. That was the first shot I took. Oh, don't tell anyone. That just said you have it. <laughs> all right, it's, it's all skill. Hey, let me uh, ask you this question. Do you have, uh, which school are you teaching at? Walton Farm Elementary. Do you have any fans here from Walton Farm? Absolutely, they're all over the place, everywhere. You don't have one particular section here that you haven't spread out? I think they all went to go get something to eat. Sounds good, it's a great night. Got some Walton Farm. We get get a little crowd support over here for Walton Farm for Big Fred over here. Fred, great job at the foul line. Thanks for joining us very much. Thank you, Mr. Heller. We have Fred Irvin getting that lesson from Swoop at the foul on how to be a basketball player, and he hit the free throw. Doing an excellent job. Dream team shooting around a little bit. A very exciting first half. So great scale from the North Penn School District employees.
Hey, what brings you out on a Saturday night? We are supporting our fellow teacher, Jeff Elsesser, who is on the Dream Team. Do you think they're holding up to that name, Dream Team? I'd be real careful. Well, they are a team, and they are living a dream. Why does your husband keep on trying to get in our shot? Did you, have you noticed that? Because he's a camera hog. All right, so I've been asking everybody, what do you think? Do you think the North Penn Dream Team has it to close out the, uh, the rest of the game? I think that the Dream Team is going to have a very big dream trying to come up with a win for the game. Thank you so much. Brett, is this the night that you have planned for your wife to take her to a cro like cross the street to North Penn Ice instead? Did you take her out to dinner at least? This is like the perfect date night for us. You don't get out very much. You don't get out very much. Surrounded by all this sweat and testosterone. <laughs> you like that. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, um, what do you think of tonight? I mean, coming out here and in this gym full of uh, people, North Penn people. It's awesome how, uh, how many people are out here tonight to support our, our cause. It's, it's awesome. Thank you very much for your what are you, uh, Well, I know you're not teaching technically in a building. What, uh, what are you doing right now? Where are you located? We're doing uh, iPads and technology throughout all the classrooms in the district. So I have been joined with the Baker family. Thank you so much for joining us. Back to you guys upstairs. Thank you, Mr. Heller. We get set for the second half. Earlier we heard the Wizards president, president talking about, uh, we heard him talking about Charles Cornier, a security guard here at the high school about how he could possibly make the Wizards. I mean, if you would like, I mean, like he said, anyone is free to join the Wizards. Now we're gonna go back down to Mr. Heller on the court. All right, I got one of the uh, Wizard players down here, Blenda down here. Blenda, how's your game tonight? How, how you bring, are you bringing your A game? Actually, do you even need your A game? Oh man, you know what? End of the day, it's all about having fun, having a good time, and entertaining these folks. You know, we the Harlem Wizards, we travel all around the world, and there's nothing better than to put smiles on these kids' faces, and leaving these kids and family with lifelong memories. So I understand you you had a game earlier today, you're playing a game tonight. Actually, you're doing a lot of basketball. Do you ever get physically tired? You know what? When we come out here on a basketball court, we feel at home, you know, because all we want to do is just get back to these families, to these kids, you know, because everybody goes through a lot of stress in life. We're all about bringing all that positive energy and um, just having a good time, you know. I'm definitely bringing my A game, and it's, it's nothing more than coming out to a Harlem Winter game right here. Hey, amazing. So if you're, uh, if, if you weren't doing this, what would you want to be doing for a real job? I think I'll be a phys ed teacher. Nice, nice. Now, before we sign up, can you do that? That ball spin again. Oh, man, I do a lot of things. You know what? I'm a little bit thirsty, so I'm going to need a little help from this basketball. Ah, now it's time for a little bit of showtime. We got some show. Hey, let me see that microphone. My name is Kenny the Blender Rodriguez, and you're watching the Harlem Wizards. Yeah, Blenda, I'd be able to do that, but I had a long band director injury a while back again. But uh, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I want to thank all the fans out there watching us live. You know what? It's going to be great. So don't miss the second half. Thanks, my man. Thank you, Mr. Heller. And wish we could see uh, Mr. Heller do some of those moves that Blenda just showed off. <laughs> but remember, he had that injury, the band director accident. but. Now, just 18 seconds on the clock. Looks like we're getting set for the Harlem Woods' halftime show. Look, for, uh, look to you out there while she's playing. 
she looks composed and, and uh, you know she's playing some good defense. Hasn't had a good couple. Hasn't had a chance to make any shots, but she's playing good defense. What do you think about this big crowd that we have here? You think she's intimidated by the crowd? Not at all. I think she loves it. And it's a great play, great opportunity for the North Penn and, and uh, the high school and the athletic department. So, what is your role here in the North Penn School District? I'm a high school guidance counselor and baseball coach. You're the man. Thanks for joining us. You feel, do you think the North Penn Dream Team has to come back to win? I think they have the ability, but I think it's just all about the kids and getting the kids excited. And if, if the uh, Harlem Wizards are up for dunking on everybody, I'm okay with that. Thanks, Coach. Have a good one. Thank you, Mr. Heller. Now at the Harlem Wizards halftime show, along some students onto the court. Interacting with fans, they're going to give some free stuff out to the crowd here tonight. Definitely get the crowd into the game more. Good point. And some fans from the crowd. He's moving his way through the audience. Ring circus is going on. I got a uh, dance team member. I got to also give a shout out. We got a North Penn golfer with me here, Julia Rose Gennardi on the dance team. How was that performance out there tonight? Man, it was popping. It was really fun. It, there's a lot of people. We haven't had this many people here before, so it was great. When is, uh, what do you normally do these performances? Um, usually at the home basketball games, boys and girls, Fridays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Are there any type of competitions that the dance team goes through? We go to one every year. It's in New Jersey, and we went to that, and we did all right, but it was still a fun time, lots of fun, and good experience. How's your golf game right now? Golf game is on point. Division one here at home. There we go. Now, you've been, uh, you're going to stay and watch the second half here. Do you think the North Penn Dream Team has it, or are you going to go with the Wizards? Um, what did you say? Who's going to win? Us, done. North Penn Pride, here we go. There's the first one to predict North Penn. That's Julia Gennardi, member of the North Penn Dance Team, member of the North Penn Golf Team. Thanks, Julia. Back to you guys upstairs. Thanks, Mr. Heller. Great performance from the dance team at halftime. Harlem Wizards get to drop their stuff at the halftime show here. So we're still finding some kids in the crowd. We'll give a shout out to one of the other sports programs here at the high school, the golf team. Still making his way around.
Duke with a big crowd around him in the center of the court. Back with the people he chose from the crowd. Sarge, the interviews with Mr. Heller that they're really out here to put the smiles on kids' faces, and that's exactly what they're doing. We saw with that dance party they had at the center court, and with the rest of the halftime show. Yeah. 
doing very well. First of all, Chuck, let me ask you something. What is your uh, role here in the North Penn School District? I work with the um, high school and a security guard. Um, been here for about six months. Now, let me ask you, what's your role tonight? My role tonight is, um, you know, a prop. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all are, aren't we? Hey, Chuck, uh, I, was talking, I was talking to the president of the Wizards. He says you got a big guy over there. You could possibly try out. Is that something you'd consider down the road, trying out for the Wizards? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm too old. <laughs> That's impossible. We are still, both of us, still very young. Yes, sir. I, I appreciate that. All right, let me ask you this final question. Um, we're about to start the, well, who knows? I think the third quarter should probably start about a half hour ago. Chuck, uh, what do you think of the second half here from your North Penn players? Well, we, we are supposed to lose, but I might have other plans. Oh, I like this, Chuck. I like this. Do you, are you calling a victory? Are you calling a North Penn victory? Absolutely. Just to let you know, they haven't lost a game since 1989. So I'm going with you on this one because I'm standing next to you. When I'm standing with them, I'm calling them to win. Hey, I'll be watching you. <laughs> hey, thanks. Good luck to you out there. All right, thanks. Back to you guys upstairs. Thank you, Mr. Heller, and great to see the confidence from Cornegay. As I said, uh, an employee at North Penn High School here for six months. Student favorite. And Swoop works the ball around. Great to see the confidence, though, from him that they will end that long, long win streak for the Harlem Wizards since 1989, as the president said. Should make for an interesting second half. See if the Dream Team can come back. Thank you. 
doing, sir? Perfect, perfect. All right, man. You sit right here before they stand right here. You, sir, please have a seat right here in the chair. Table from four people. The dream team comes back onto the court for the third quarter. It's like Mr. Fluck has entered the building and will play in the third quarter. Hornigay also on the court. Tiger there too. And Lauren Budwig. Also Dan Moretsky. Third quarter begins. Here 
comes North Penn's offense. See what they can get started. Three coming from Geiger. Just off the rim, but we're not able to get the rebound and Blenda with possession. Up to Sarge, Sarge over to downtown and he gets the layup. Dream team down 38 to 18. See if a comeback is possible here. Another three coming, and he sinks it from downtown. Oretsky with a three. The shot. Moretzky down the court with the ball. Pass it over. Geiger with the three. And six in. Dream Team coming out and hitting some threes. Getting them closer in this game. And Sarge kicks it out. Lunatic with the shot. And hits the three. Entering that one from Geiger before. Across the court, downtown over. Skywalker over to Blenda with the three and sinks it. Those two threes by the Dream Team answered by the Harlem Wizards. The Dream Team, Retsky driving the ball around. Finding Budwick open inside over the corner. Okay, not able to hit that one. Falling off bounds. Up to downtown in the air. It's Sarge with the slam. Comes Moretzky playing some point guard for the Dream Team. Corner gave open in the corner. Will he take the three? No, gives it off to Geiger inside, but blocked. Budwig with the rebound. Moretzky with the three. Not able to hit that one. Flucked with the rebound. Over to Cornegay. Blocked from behind. Sneaky one, and possession will stay with the Dream Team. Right inside the corner gay. Hey, not able to hit it. Down the court to Lunatic. The three. Rings out. Gretzky is Geiger to his right. Gets across mid court. The dribble scale from Moretzky. Budwig back to him and hits the shot, showing some skill here in the third quarter. Score is now 46-26. The Wizards are still in the lead, but I mean, it looks like the dream team here is making a little comeback. Some competitive third quarter. They're hitting some shots. Luck inside, right by the basket. Not able to hit it. Going to go goes for the jump, not able to connect on that one. And inside, up in the air, and the slam from Sarge. Getting up there, right next to Mr. Fluck. Better down the court. Going around the three, and sinks another one, his second here in the second half. by Lunatic, he takes another shot. Rings out, and the rebound. Going back to the Dream Team, out wide, Budwig over to Moretzky with the three. Rings out, Budwig with the rebound, over. Dream Team just taking as many threes as they can, and he sticks that one. Three for Geiger. Three minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. The score is 50 to 36. Easy layup there for the Wizards. Rescue showing his dribble moves. Bud Wake in the corner. For some help. Geiger shooting another three. Oh, and that one misses. Three for four here in the second half, shooting the three. There's Lunatic really Knight, we'll hit that one. Bud Wake up in the air. Here comes Cornegay. Cornegay missing that one. Put the rebound and put back for Moretzky. We hit her substitution. Time for third quarter. Yeah. 
Currently four members of the Dream Team on the court. Lunatic steals the ball. And they're not able to sink it. But Jeff Fakish makes his way onto the court. Back down, it's Blendall all alone. He'll slow it down over to Sarge. Into the air, and another slam. Well, short, it lands through the arms of Lunatic. Blenda up in the air. Pass hits the rim. Downtown gets it back with the slam. What excellent defense from Rich Hart of the Dream Team. Here comes Cavone, the third, down the court. Third, the three. Off the top of the backboard. No go, Blenda slowing it down, the three. Not able to get it in there. The chart sinks the layup. Every 10 points for the Dream Team. Two ball from 20 points per basket. With more noise made by the crowd getting up on their feet. Lutic hits the three. Driving in, but blocked. Out to Richard, the jumper. Not able to connect. Run back up. Gets his own rebound inside of Dietrich. Dietrich not able to connect. Back up again. Not able to. We'll take it again. And the superintendent is able to make the basket. Put North Bend up 66 to 59, entering the fourth quarter of play. Dietrich with the 20-point layup. Scores now 66 to 59. We're going into the last quarter of the game. The superintendent of the school district coming up big, putting North Penn on top. Sky high tonight, way to go. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Thanks, Mr. Heller. Impressive showing by Mr. Dietrich. I got Diane West joining me. What is your role tonight? I'm just a volunteer helping out. Uh, why do you uh, feel important for yourself to help out? Are you a North Penn grad? No, I'm not. When did you? Where did you graduate from? I went to CB West. <laughs> we got to take her off air right now. Hey, but she's a big uh, North Penn fan, big North Penn supporter. Uh, what do you think about this uh, game tonight? I think it's awesome. It's great for the Booster Club. It's a great night. The kids seem to be having a blast. Thank you so much. You have, uh, we got uh, one more quarter left. You think we got it? Ah, uh, it's gonna be tough. They gotta keep giving us some 10 and 20 points when we get a basket. All right, what's your, uh, what do you walk around with this big bucket for? Uh, we, we took a 50-50 and we made 
Well, gave some one lucky winner $284. I hope it's mine, even though I didn't get one. Hey, uh, Chris, Lauren, back to you guys. Thanks, Diane. Thank Thanks, Mr. Heller. As the Harlem Wizards give out some prizes to the fans. Get ready for the fourth quarter of play. Suka and the crowd excited once again. Taking the three, and off the rim. Blender gets the rebound. Up to Lunatic, we'll give it to Sarge for the slam. Yes. Thanks, Mr. Heller. Get back to the action. And a miss slam from Sarge. Too many of those from him tonight. But Blenda takes the three and hits it. And Wizards back on top, 68-66. And the Dream Team gets the basket. Looks like a tie score right now in the fourth quarter. Six minutes and 14 seconds left in the game. North Penn inbounds the ball. It looks like Mr. Heller is waving us down, ready for another interview. Thanks, Chris. She doesn't know I'm about to interview her. What is your name? My name's Donna Grabner from Oak Park Elementary. And what do you teach at Oak Park? Third grade. Awesome. How was uh, the experience out on the court tonight? It was amazing. Were you able to score any points? Sadly, no. Do you think uh, any ch uh, chance for a North Penn Green Dream Team to win this? Honestly, <laughs> but we can try. Absolutely. How did you get selected for this team? Um, I'm quite popular. <laughs> very good, very I'm good. really tall. And what's your uh, elementary school again? Oak Park Elementary. Shout out to Oak Park. Thanks, Donna. Back to you guys upstairs. Thanks, Mr. Heller. Looks like the score is now 74 to 70 with the, with the Wizards ahead, but the Dream Team just made another basket, so it's 74 72. But the Wizards answer with the slam. Dream Team trying to get together, give the Wizards a first loss since 1989. Up the front of the rim, but down the court, Blenda all alone. Up in the air to Sarge with the slam.
if they've called any fouls tonight, but uh, we'll see what happens. Hey, take it upstairs. Looks like Swoop was ready for some football action. that gets the touchdown.
Reset the play. Just rings out. Yes. Attempted once more from half court on his knees backwards. Just off the rim. Here comes a shot. And off the backboard. Blender gets the reception up in the air. Sarge with the slam. Team, anything's going again. Missed shot. Seconds left in the game. The Wizards are up 78 to 72. Blender with possession. Driving in. Streamers fill the air. Green team did an excellent job tonight. Losing in the end 78-72, but great showing, great night for everyone.
Harlem Wizards put on a great event here tonight. Big thank you to them coming and Booster Club for organizing everything. Definitely a great time. Tons of entertainment for everyone here. I mean, I know that me and Chris had to stop ourselves from laughing. We're going to throw it down to Mr. Heller with another interview. Hey, thanks, guys. I'm here by the scores table with the athletic director, Mr. Don Ryan. Mr. Ryan, what did you think about tonight's event? Great show, great show. The kids, the young kids really enjoyed it, and also the adults did too. Are you proud of your North Penn team? Yes, oh, they were a great team, a dream team. What, did it have anything to do with the coach, you think? The coach added anything extra? You know, you know, he's been working on them, plays all week. You know, he's been consulting with the basketball coaches. He did a great job. Is this truly what a North Penn dream team could have been, or do you think they're uh, missing some key players? Oh, I think we were missing some players. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Back to you guys upstairs. Thanks, Mr. Heller. It was a great event overall, and impressed by the uh, teachers. They came out, did an excellent job playing some basketball, support the athletic program here at the high school. The Wizards are now giving out autographs to, I know the kids are all swarming to get autographs from them. They had a great time. The kids all laughing all into it, all of them waving and clapping along. We're gonna go back down to Mr. Heller, Heller with another interview. Okay, thanks guys. Joining me now is Montgomery Weitzel and Kaylin Evans and Alex Weed. Was this a fun night for you? Is it what you thought it was gonna be? A lot of fun. Any surprises? Um, when he did the backflip, I really liked that part. How about you? Any surprises? Um, the backflip and when they did all the dunking. And what about you? Any surprises? Fun time? Flip. Gotcha. Uh, what schools are we going to? Pendale. Pendale Pride. Pendale. Nice. Pembroke. We got Pen two Pendales at Pembroke. All. More importantly, from the North Penn family. Thank you, ladies. Back to you guys upstairs. Thanks, Mr. Heller. Great to see a wide variety of people around from the community coming out. Students, everybody. Looks like we'll go right back down to Mr. Heller. Looks like he's with Gino. Thanks, thanks, Chris. I got Gino here. Gino, tough loss. We got to be pumped over that performance. Oh, we play very hard. We had a good time. Let's do it again next year. Do you think uh, what was the strength? What what ended up to be uh, the strength for the other team? The strength for that team they were better than us. <laughs> uh, what about any North Penn strengths? What did you bring? What I saw you coaching. What were you telling your team throughout the uh, game? Oh, I was telling them a lot of things, but they didn't listen to me, so that helped. <laughs> Congratulations, great job tonight. All right, back to you guys upstairs. Thanks, Mr. Heller. Good to see the high spirits, despite the loss. Everybody had fun. Right we'll up. go right da back down to Mr. Heller with another interview. All right, thanks, Chris. I'm now joined with, what's your name? Justin. Justin doesn't even know, because I literally just I literally just grabbed him off the floor. Did you have fun tonight? Yes, very. Uh, what school do you go to? Gwen North. Did you have any players on the team for the North Penn Dream Team that you were cheering for in particular? Uh, Miss Henderson. Nice. Um, so uh, what grade do you win? Fourth. Any shout out to any of your friends out there in TV land? Alex Cravener. There you go, Alex. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Back to you guys upstairs. Thanks, Mr. Heller. Great to see all those students out there. They swarmed the court to get some autographs. So how happy they were at the dance party during halftime that they had at center court. And Lauren, the sold out crowd here, just amazing. And the people, they kept cheering and going with it and doing a great job. The crowd was amazing. I mean, even up here, we're up in the balcony, and there are kids around us just all into it. Even though they're up here, they still were trying to get picked out by the players to get their free things. And I know definitely a great time. All I could see was smiles on everyone's faces, and that's what the Wizards aimed to do. And they did a great job of that tonight. Yeah, all the kids were pressed up against the railing up here, really eager to be involved on the court. But we'll send it right back down to 
Mr. Heller with another interview. All right, Chris, here we go. We got, now we got three beautiful girls down here. What is your name? Lindsay. Lindsay, what is your name? Gabby. And your name? Paige. Very nice to meet you, Paige. Girls, did you have fun tonight? Yeah. Were you surprised that North Penn lost? No. <laughs> what was your favorite part tonight? Uh, the doctor part. Okay. Did you have a favorite? When uh, one guy did the backflip. The backflip seems to be very popular. You girls, do you go to North Penn schools? What school do you go to? Bridal Path. Bridal Path. Bridal Path. We got Bridal Path Pride here, folks. Back to you upstairs. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Mr. Heller. What a great but with the from the action tonight from across the district. I think the highlight of tonight was Dr. Dietrich getting that 20 point layup. That was definitely a great part for the dream team. We're gonna throw it back down to Mr. Heller with another interview. Folks, I got right at the last, he's trying to get out of here before he uh, gets caught uh, signing all these autographs. We got Coach Famous. Coach Fakish, who had kids here earlier with uh, just coming out here to support you, Coach. How was your uh, how was your performance tonight? My performance was not exactly up to par. Uh, I'm not exactly one with the land. I'm, a, I'm an aqua person myself. How's your conditioning for this? Did you train hard? My conditioning was great. I've been you know, doing dry land with the kids, but unfortunately that doesn't translate over into being able to run with the ball. How, what did you think about the Wizards team? They are amazing. You don't truly know how high they jump until you're standing underneath of them as they're going over your head. Introduce me to some of these people we have here. Well, these are actually my three children. This is Madeline, this is Daniel, and that is Jacob. Coach Bakers, thank you so much. Thank you for being an ambassador to the dream team of North Penn. Thanks, thank Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you. Back to you guys upstairs. Thank you, Mr. Heller. Jeff Bakers did a great job tonight. A little late getting on the court after the end of the third quarter, but still coming up big, along with all the other members of the Dream Team. Coming from all corners of the district. Fans still hanging around getting autographs. They're being enthralled by the action tonight. But that's it for now. After an extremely fun time had by all here tonight, I'm Chris Pekovic alongside me, Lauren. To me, one last interview with Mr. Heller, looks like. We'll go down to him now. I'm not sure if it's the last because we got a lineup of people dying to get on air, Chris. Joining me now is Amy Ferretti. From what school? Gwinnett Square. And who are these people joining you? Jenna, Karina, and Bobby. What did you think about tonight's uh, tonight's performance by both teams? Very entertaining, a lot of fun. Any uh, surprises? Were you surprised North Penn lost? Uh, yes, very surprised. How about any standout North Penn all Dream Team players? Any standout players that you saw? Oh, great plays from Mr. Moretzky and Mr. Bowen. Great job. Now, what if you were on the Dream Team? Would you have contributed more than what you saw out there? I would have tried. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for coming out tonight, heading upstairs. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mr. Heller. That's it for now tonight. We're still going with another interview with Mr. Heller. All right, thanks guys. I'm joined now with... Josh Martinez. Josh, what school do you go to? Walton Farm. Josh, what did you think of tonight's game? Did you have fun tonight? Yeah, I did have fun. Surprise North Penn lost? No. Did you have any favorite North Penn players out there? No, uh, Mr. Irvin. Okay, what school are you from? Walton Farm. Gotcha. Very. Thank you very much. We will look for you on that court sometime in the future. Do you play basketball? Uh, yeah. Is it your best sport? Mm -hmm. Is it your favorite best sport? No. No. What's your favorite? Soccer. There you go. He's got a soccer player, but looking good in the Wizards hat. Heading upstairs. Back to you guys. Thanks, Mr. Heller. Great to see more students out there. Look we'll excited with all their new Harlem Wizards gear. 
We'll go right back down to Mr. Heller. All right, Chris, getting ready to wrap things up. Court's starting to clear out. But again, fortunate enough to grab another dream team player. What is your name? Uh, Joe Cavone. Joe, where, uh, what school are you coming from? I'm principal over at North Wales Elementary. How was your performance tonight? Uh, it, it was fun. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I, I think I played okay, but it was fun. How many weeks of conditioning did you put into this? Uh, about two hours total. <laughs> was that all today? That was yesterday. All right, thanks, Joe. And who is this? This is my daughter, Allison. Allison, did you have any? Uh, did you have fun tonight? Yes. Did you go to one of the North Penn schools? Um, I go to Mary Mother the Redeemer. I got gotcha. you, but you really want to go to a North Penn school in the future. Yes. Uh, what would? Do you have any favorite parts tonight? When the Harlem Wizards play football with the basketball. Very good, very good. Dream team player right here. Thanks, thanks, thanks Joe. Hey, uh, we're down here on the floor. I think. Uh, Hey, I don't even care what the price of admission was tonight. Tonight was just such a solid effort by both teams. You're seeing everyone on this floor just walking out here with a great big smile. And all they had to do was leave their front front door and just come right outside to North Penn High School. Great entertainment right down the street, folks. Hey, Chris, Lauren, great job tonight. This was fun for me. I'm signing off. It's time for me to get a drink of water. It's a little hot down here. Thanks again. Thank you, Mr. Heller. But it is hot down there with all those people. So many great fans. But that's it for now. Th big thank you to Mr. Heller. I'm Chris Okoviak. Alongside me, Lauren Schwartz, after a fun filled e evening for all the North Penn Television crew. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time with more North Penn Television sports coverage. Thank you to the Harlem Wizards. <laughs>